One of the most fascinating initiatives of Sharjah City is nestled under the Sharjah Book Authority. It's the world's first free zone for publishing and it is called the Sharjah Publishing City. This project exemplifies the power of visionary leadership. It's set to take off very soon and we had the privilege of getting a tour around it. Enjoy this. The Sharjah Book Authority is the ministry of the Sharjah government that takes care of all things books in Sharjah. Um, printing, production, publishing, everything you can imagine, including the Sharjah International Book Fair. You can see the building behind me is massive, massive investments into building the Sharjah Book Authority. This is the office or the office complex of Sharjah Book Authority and it also plays host to what they call the Sharjah Publishing City which is a free trade zone for publishing. It is the first of its kind anywhere in the world. Let's see what it looks like. Sharjah Publishing City is a part of Sharjah Book Authority. Sharjah Book Authority is the holding company. There are several uh, companies under it, Sharjah Publishing City being one, Sharjah International Book Fair, Sharjah Children Reading Festival, Sharjah Libraries, and we are also establishing now a research centre for the publishing industry. This building has been built as a free zone, uh, the first free zone of its kind in publishing and printing only. It is not a general trading free zone, it's free zone to congregate publishers around the world to give them an ease of doing business uh, between Africa, Asia, MENA region and Europe. Uh, UAE has proven itself to be a centre point. So this was the brainchild of the ruler of Sharjah, Sheikh, uh, Sheikh Dr. Sultan uh, Mohammed Al Qasmi. And uh, we have 500 offices in this building and there is a possible expansion of about 6,000 square metres of offices. And uh, what we are going to have in here, this is going to be a one-stop shop for all publishers. We will be having publishers based here, there will, there will be editorial services, there will be translation services, there will be printing of the highest quality in the world. I mean, we are going to have a POD printing, which is print on demand, uh, or some people call it digital printing. We are going to have a high standard uh, four colors printing in offset printing. And we are bringing the printing uh, facilities here for the publishers in uh, with a competitive pricing in par with India and China. Well, this will be giving an advantage to the publishers mostly from the African continent and the Middle East and Asia. Also, we're giving an opportunity for uh, publishers to be able to break into markets which they did not have in the beginning. Uh, as you are aware, uh, the growth of uh, younger generation is mostly in Asia and Africa. So this building, we have 15 meeting rooms in there, whereby publishers at any given time can have a meeting room where they can have their meetings. We have secretarial service in every cluster of offices. We have a secretarial services whereby the secretaries there uh, can be providing services to the publishers when the customers are coming in or do any research or any work for them. Uh, on top of that, I would really like to take you through the building and show you how the building looks like. Before we go, hmm. um, when you say free trade, free zone, zone. That, that, that means tax free, 100% uh, ownership if I want to set up a business here. Free, when we say free zone, free zone, first of all, you are having 100% ownership, no tax at all, there is no sales tax, there is no income tax, there is no corporate tax, Incredible. there is no tax at all. In fact, as a publisher here, once you have your books, whatever, you have to worry about the taxes to where you are exporting your books. But you are doing your work here without any taxes at all. And it is purely geared for publishing industry. What is the, why, why is the Sharjah government doing this? What's, what's the, the, the ruler of Sharjah and the United Arab Emirates in particular are very keen in projecting knowledge and education. They are very, very keen of it. In Sharjah, the ruler in Sharjah, for example, if to give an example, what he has done, he has managed to put a library of 30, minimum of 30 books in each house in Sharjah. For the children to each, the grown-ups. Every, every each, house. Each house. Uh, so far, I think 45,000 houses have been provided with libraries. Wow. 
built by by the ruler of Sharjah himself, Sharjah. Sheikh, Sharjah. Sheikh Dr. Muhammad Paid and for Sultan. Paid by the ruler of Sharjah. Sharjah. Every home. Every home. He is uh, very much keen in knowledge. You can see, you have seen our book fair, how it is, and uh, you've seen how the number of children are attending the schools, how they are attending. Uh, see, he believes that knowledge can bring the, whole, the entire world together. It can solve most of our problems.